Hey, what's up everybody? Justin here with the Four Lazy Jays, and this week I'm back with another hunting adventure. This time it's an Arizona Coos Whitetail hunt. Just left work, run a little bit behind. was hoping to get up on the mountain today to get a glassing session in, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Well, it's time to continue on. Something went, uh, oh, oh, there he is. His head just popped up. Is that for sure the bigger buck yep. up top? Yep. Okay. So the first opportunity I get, I'm going to take it, okay? Okay. If he takes another step, he might have it. Yeah. They're, they're just cruising, though. You got time. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to send it. There it is. <laughs> Dropped him. I couldn't tell exactly where you hit, but he f***ing dropped right there. He's kicking around. Well, after a short hike, we got to him. Just got some pictures. I'm going to put my tag on him now. Uh, start breaking him down. Kind of processing him, getting the meat out. and we got two more to go. It's, uh, it's 8 o'clock opening morning, so we found him pretty quick. Well, we got everything all processed up. I packed it all in my backpack right now. It's a heavy little pack out for being such a small deer. Well, we're in the middle of day two. Got another one down this morning. Brandon shot one, one of the other hunters. So we're gonna finish out this afternoon, do some glassing. We've got one more tag to fill. We got one more day tomorrow. We're we'll switching to a new area. We've hammered that one area pretty good, so. Oh, 
Lancelot's last morning. We've got one tag left to fill. Late last night we saw some guys coming down a hill. Right in the area we planned on hunting. They were kinda loud and all the way up till that ten o'clock. We got up here before sunrise and been glassing. Just not a thing on this mountain, so we have a few hours left. We made a last minute decision to pack up and try a new area, move. This whole area is just kind of boogered. So we're going to go see, make some last minute adjustments, see if we can't get it done. Well, after covering some ground, sitting down glassing for a while, we just never got in any deer. By the time we got over to the new area, it was already really late in the day. We were leaving, so we knew we didn't have much time. But beautiful country back there, that's for sure. Um, we did get two out of three, so I'm pretty happy with that. One thing I wanted to point out is I had a hard time filming on this hunt, and I'm not really sure why. It's a lot of glassing, kind of a lot of hurry up and wait. Uh, because the minute we would see something, everything would kind of, uh, we'd start to make a move, figure out what we're going to do. And I just focused a lot on this hunt. It's one of my favorite hunts. Uh, so I, I kind of put filming on the back burner. I did get a little bit of footage. Amazing hunt, though. They got a lot of rain late in the, uh, in the summer, and it was just green everywhere. Everything looked good. It looked healthy. Uh, there was a lot of pressure in there, a lot of people out driving around. Uh, we didn't see a whole lot of people out walking. But... Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun, that's for sure. Uh, I am heading home now, hoping uh, to go see my wife and kids. I haven't seen them in a few days and miss them. So well, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you again in the next video.